Hey everyone, so aside from Viego's dashing good looks, he's actually pretty good on the Rift too, and we're going to catch you up to speed with everything you need to know in a guy that you could watch during Champion Select. So Viego has great sustain for both the lane and jungle, has incredible dueling and scales really well. He doesn't rely on mana or energy as a spending resource and can single-handedly win team fights by avoiding abilities thanks to the possession mechanic. The downside about that mechanic is just utilizing it properly requires a lot of knowledge about the other 150 plus champions Q, W and E abilities, as well as the fact that he can be easily kited, fall into irrelevance if you fall behind and be kind of countered with anti-heal. For Keystone Conqueror is a match made in heaven with Viego because landing his abilities triggers his double hit passive which allows you to stack it up very quickly. The rest are mostly there for damage or a bit more healing. Your skill order is going to be maxing Q for damage, E second for the reduced cooldown, and increase attack speed steroid and W to finish. Your core items for this build are going to be Kraken Slayer, Blade the Ruined King with plated steel caps in most games, so Noon Quiver should be your first aim. Kraken Slayer gives some pretty good stats anyway, but it pairs very well with your double hit passive, so you'll benefit from the true damage much more often with Kraken Slayer. Your Blade the Ruined King gives more lifesteal and on hit damage too, which is going to help you deal with bruises and with tanks. After that, Asteric Gauge is going to give you some much needed cushion with more AD and health. A Death Stance is going to give you some healing and damage, and then the Collector is even more damage. You can swap some of those things out, so Blade Throwing King can swap out for Wit's End if you find yourself against less tanks and more magic damage. Guiding Angel is great versus Burst, and Kenpunk Chainsword to cut down the opponent's healing. So against easy matchups, you can really abuse how fast you clear the jungle. It allows you to hard farm to your items faster, gank more, and then scale up to a point where the others cannot simply take you on by themselves. Against harder matchups, it kind of flips around. You want to try and avoid them as much as possible while trying to get items, so ward and keep track of their clear at least. Champions like Ramus and Udyr are just going to be too tanky to duel, which is a bit of a problem early game, and Kha'Zix can really burst you hard if he catches you first. Now, as a jungler, you generally are initiating the gank with your W from an angle, but he pairs especially well with champions like Cho'Gath and Galio, who can lead off and soak damage and buy you some time to get on top of them to win that free 2v1. Now, when you're trying to gank, or at least early game, you want to try and position near walls so that your E can extend to its fullest, so you can really benefit from the extra attack speed and move speed. While in your E as well, you can charge up your W to stun them, making it much harder to dodge that initial engage. Now, even though your ultimate does a lot of damage, and more damage the lower health somebody is, you can use it to gap close and get on top of your opponent and make your W stun practically point blank. To make the most out of your early farm speed, you want to be going Red, Krugs, Raptors, Blue, Gromp into Scuttle Crab for level 4. Viego has very natural quick farming and crowd control in his kit as well, which is good for ganks. So you'll want to start the game with Red Smite because it boosts your already very strong dueling. The reverse of that is going to be Blue, Gromp, Wolves, Red, Raptors and Scuttle for level 4 as well. So in team fights, you'll want to be the follow up damage ideally, not the initiator because you're pretty much a glass cannon. Most of your team fight is going to revolve around getting that first reset, so you'll want to generally kill the closest target, you can even kill the enemy frontliner with your team. Ideally, if you are able to, you can use your E to flank the team fight and very quickly burst down an enemy squishy target. Flanking is going to be riskier, but definitely amazing with some of the walls that you can use to access fights. So finally, a couple of tips and tricks. Now remember that when you take an enemy soul, you gain all of their skill points and items and everything like that. So you don't always want to take every soul. If you're already pretty strong, do not take a weaker opponent's soul, for example. Or if you're in the middle of an enemy team, do not take the full damage enemy AD carry and get one shot. You can also use Viego's ultimate to dodge crowd control and damage in a similar way to how you would use Zed's ultimate. When you're dueling somebody, this can give you a real big edge, dodging one of their most important abilities. Normally, you'll also want to charge up your W to stun, but you can also quickly tap it to actually dodge an incoming ability, which can be really good to dodge some crowd control. So that is going to wrap up our quick guide to Viego. Good luck on the rift.